What is up? It's your boy in here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we're going to be talking about something that blows my mind. Something I did not understand or even still to this day understand. We're going to be talking about how it's easier to spin 285s than it is to spin the stock 265s. Now, if you're at all concerned or questioning what I'm talking about in this video, just stay tuned as I'm going to explain it all and explain to you guys my scary experience. You already know like comment and subscribe but with that being said man you already know the dealio let's get right into the video i don't know why i just said that but i did last time it came out more fluently this time i forced it so i'm sorry i'm sorry you had to see that but i said it so i'm gonna leave it in the video i could edit it out but we both have to deal with the cringe i ang put 285s on my toyota tacoma now putting 285s on my tacoma i thought all right look it's going to be a slug. It's going to move so slow. It isn't going to be able to get off the line, buddy. You might have to put it in neutral and get out and push it. That's what I thought was going to happen. And I was fine with it. But the other day, I mean the other day, like three, four weeks ago, the other day, I was out by myself. And since I did all the work on the Tacoma myself, I was like, all right, you know what? Let's not do nothing dumb with Sandy in the car. Let's do it by myself. So if I do something dumb and there's dumb consequences, I have to deal with them. So I was out driving by myself i come up to a stoplight i don't know why and i don't even know if i really put that much pressure on the throttle but the truck started to spin the right wheel only and like shake the truck like bounce up and down and i was frightened okay i was like what did i just do i saw this one video of this like f-250 drag racing in the whole back axle this is the back axle like pops down and goes like that that's what i thought happened and i was like oh my god how am i going to explain this to sandy nonetheless the tire the axle were all still in good shape we were fine we were chilling we were good to go but then i come up to another stoplight i'm like okay let's try it again foot on the brake just like an acceleration and then it happened again not as bad but it happened i am absolutely confused now i was able to get a little bit of footage on it so i'm going to play that now this was actually one of the rougher push downs and it didn't squeal as much now i haven't tried it again i'm going to stop yapping you guys can watch it and then i'll start yapping once you guys watch that clip my foot down What did you think? You barely heard it. I try to turn it up as much as I can. I'm sorry. What's weird is after this, I did the launches with 285 and it was fine. Nothing. It wasn't like it lost traction, but the truck didn't like slam me up against the roof or anything. And then I did it uh, in the snow, which is fine because both wheels didn't have traction. So I am utterly confused. Now, the Tacoma has an okay engine, right? It's not a beast. And I believe to the wheels is around 200 horse now when I had my 265. So the reason I'm so confused is because when I had the 265, smacked that traction control button all the way off, put my foot on the brake, hit a little bit of gas, let go of the brake, and tried to spin my wheels, and barely anything happened. Now, obviously, if you sit there, hold the brake, and slam down on the gas, then something will happen. Of course, my girlfriend's Corolla could do that. But if I was at a stoplight with my Tacoma and put my foot down, the wheels never spun, so I'm confused. Let me know if you have a stock Tacoma or if you have 265s, so, you know, they're rather smaller or light tires compared to 285s, obviously. Does your Tacoma spin off the line? I don't know why this happens or if it's normal for it to happen. I heard Rob Motive one time he was stuck at a stoplight driving stick. He kind of like was out of it, went in reverse a little bit, put it in drive and spin the tires a little bit. Now, I at the time of seeing that video, I was like, no way, Rob, okay? No way. But my Tacoma did the same thing. So I'm really curious. I don't know if I'm making it a big deal out of nothing, but it really, really scared me. I will go find some dry land in Mexico and put my foot down on the gas and see if my wheels spin, which is weird because I didn't think they would. I'm going to go out and see if I can repeat this and do this over again for your guys enjoying uh, pleasure. I hope it gets a good video. I hope nothing breaks though, okay? Because if something breaks, the truck's probably going to sit there for quite some time with that being said let me know if you guys have any experience with this do you guys have 285s yes or no have you spun the wheels off the line yes or no do you have 265s do they spin off the line i never thought my tacoma would be a speed demon spinning off the line with that being said it's been your boy i'm out of like an i see you tomorrow say good tomorrow peace